For the preparation of the altar, I always begin with the presider's chalice. Have one hand holding the chalice and another hand on top of the chalice. Secondly, the book bearer goes to get the book and someone else gets the book stand and they bring them to the altar. Next, the ciboriums with hosts in them are brought to the altar. If there are any ciboriums on the credence table that do not have hosts in them, they do not get brought to the altar at this time. Next, the tray with the chalices on them is brought to the altar. There is always an extra ciborium kept on the credence table. This one is not brought to the altar, but is kept there in case we need an extra ciborium at the end of communion. Now we'll run through setting the entire altar. Once again we'll show the setting of the altar, this time from a view above the altar. Notice how the corporal is unfolded, beginning left, then right, then up, then down. And it's always made sure that it's aligned with the cross on the top of the altar, and that it's pulled down to be touching the front of the altar. When the petitions are done, the priest will begin the children's collection with the basket under his chair. Meanwhile, one of the servers takes the collection basket and places it in front next to the priest. Once the priest returns from doing the children's collection, he will wait until the ushers have all brought the money into the main collection basket. Then he will go down to receive the gifts. One server should go and pick up the main collection basket and put it back on the stool. Meanwhile, two servers should go with the priest to receive the gifts. The servers holding the bread and the wine should stand by the altar and wait for Father to take them. Meanwhile, another server gets the water from the credence table and comes and stands by the server holding the wine. Then one of the servers picks up the water bowl and the towel and comes and stands next to the server holding the water by the altar. When the Holy, Holy, Holy begins, the servers all move to their places. The server doing the bells goes into the sacristy. 
the other servers move to the front of the sanctuary where they bow in front of the altar and then split to each side where they will kneel on the corners of the sanctuary. After the great Amen, the servers come back to the middle, bow, and then return to the sanctuary. After communion, genuflect with the priest as he closes the tabernacle.